Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to talk about what LibreOffice Calc is. So this is for people that have never been in it before and just want a bit of an overview. So first of all, it's like most spreadsheet packages. You have cells, these rectangles are called cells, and you have columns like column B and row, row four. So that cell there, if I click into it, would be B, and that's how you refer to things in any spreadsheet not just this it tells you where you are in this little name box so wherever I click it will tell me that I am in that cell so I'm in column D row 4 still now unlike word processing if I just make this cell a bit bigger so you can see it you've got the normal formatting features at the top there so if I click on B for bold and type my name that only applies in that first cell because when I press enter and type my name again it is not bold if I wanted that to be bold for more than one cell I would have to select a group of cells like so I'll do bold and italic and then anywhere in that space if I type my name it will be bold and italic outside of that space it's back to the default setting which is this format there now across the top you've got a little paint pot if you click on that you can change the background color so I'll put it to yellow for example but just for that cell you've got the a which is a font color I can change the font color to something else I'll change it to red click OK to that type my name and it is red on a yellow background you've also got next to that paint pot there you've got like a little grid a little square which gives you these borders features if I click on that it's given me a border so if I highlight this chunk and then click into there and it'll give me a border like so now if you want to do any sort of formulas you can do this i'm just going to get myself a different sheet so it's clear so you've got multiple sheets you can have now i'm on sheet two if i type a little list of items car tax gas water bills etc now to spell check things in in this you just basically highlight it and then you're doing F7, the function key. You might have to do Fn F7. So there you go. No spelling mistakes. Okay. Didn't pick anything up. So I've spell checked that. So now if I go 111-222-333-444-555, like so. So I want that to be added up. I also want it to be in money. So if I highlight it, format it into pounds so that's the money button there so it's formatted to pounds now to add that add that up what you've got here is a little sum button a little down arrow with some functions there's many many more functions than that and you can get into them through this and you can also get them down the right hand side there but if i want to add those up i just click on sum and it will grab the list but you must check the list is correct at the top there b1 to b5 which is correct and then i'm clicking that tick which means I'm happy with that now if I change any of these figures 222 two, two, when I press enter that just recalculates and it just picks it up so that's how dynamic that is now if I wanted to know something more detailed than that like an average I've got average in there as well so I can go average now it is picking up just the total so I have to highlight or select what I want it to do the average on and then tick and then it'll do the average on that so that's the average of those and if you wanted to color those up so there's no mistake in where the where the data is you can do that so that would be the total that would be the average and i'll just do one more if i do count you've got count and count a count counts numbers count a counts both so i'll just do count for this but again i've got to select the list check it's picking up the right list and then click the tick so there are five items in that list now You've got loads of features on the ribbon and you've got options across the top here. If I go to insert, one of them is a chart. If I highlight all of this, I can click on this feature and it will then step me through the wizard to create a chart. So if I go for this first one, it's coming up with this first one. If I go next, it's picking up the range. Next, I don't need to change anything on this one, I don't think. If I go finish on that, it's now showing me that chart which I can't see because I've got my screen zoomed right up probably needs to come in a lot more than that but this chart 
which I'm now resizing so you can see it a little bit, is reacting to whatever those figures are. So if those figures changes, change, so will this chart. Like that. Still need to bring it down. Resizing it and then moving it. Finally got there. Just make my screen a bit smaller. Probably would have been the quickest way. Now, if I change this to 667, see the graph has picked that up and it's automatically telling me what the score on the door is. If I don't want that there, you can just basically delete stuff, delete elements to give yourself a bit more space. So that's basically a very, very quick, basic start in how LibreOffice Calc works. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.